The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne, presented by Josh, Nick, and Wyatt. This is a story about a nine-year-old boy named Bruno. He lives with his family in Berlin, with his mother Elsa, his father Ralph, and his sister Gretel, accompanied by Lars the butler and Maria the maid. One day, Bruno was walking home from school and was surprised to see Maria the maid in his room packing his things. Bruno was curious of what Maria was doing with his belongings, so when his mother walked in and Bruno asked what was happening, and his mother said, let's talk downstairs. Bruno's mother announced that they're moving to Auschwitz, and then Bruno asked, why are we moving to Outwitz? The next day, Bruno and his family took a train to Outwitz. Once they got to the new house in Outwitz, Bruno had a fight with his mother about the new house. Bruno stormed up to his room and looked out the window and saw a fence. Bruno is walking around outside and he sees a bench with a plaque on it. Bruno sees a big oak tree and wants to make a tire swing. Then he sees Lieutenant Kotler was talking to Gretel and asked if he can have a tire for a tire swing. Lieutenant Kotler makes one of the people in the striped pajamas get a tire for Bruno. Bruno made the tire swing. As he was on the tire swing, he fell off and hurt his knee. Pavel came running out and helped Bruno inside and fixed him up. His mother arrived shortly and asked what happened, and his mother took the credit for helping Bruno. Bruno observes all the people on the other side of the fence that are wearing striped pajamas and striped caps. Bruno reads the plaque on the bench that says, Presented on the occasion of Outwith Camp, June 1944. Bruno remembers he was told no exploring by the fence. Bruno starts to walk along the fence and sees a speck that turns into a dot, that turns into a blob, that turns into a figure, that turns into a boy. Bruno sees a boy sitting cross-legged whose skin was almost gray he had large eyes the color of caramel sweets, and the whites of his eyes were very white. Schmal shows Bruno the armband that everyone on the other side of the fence has to wear. Then Bruno shows Schmal the symbol that the soldiers wear. Bruno and Schmal meet at the fence and talk to each other every single day. Schmal and Bruno become best friends. Bruno tells Schmal that he has to leave out with. Bruno puts on the striped pajamas and goes underneath the fence and looks for Schmal's father. If you want to find out more about the shocking ending, you will have to read the book. The end.